I am Stella from Nippon University. I have a really special guest with me, Stephen from Stronghold Games. Stephen Bonico, Stronghold Games. Hi, everybody. Yes, how, are you, how are you today? Doing wonderful. This show is so good. It, it, you are so passionate about things. I, I see you on the floor just talking about games all the time without getting tired, just trying to fit in. Your it's lunch it's yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you guys yes, arrived early. Yes. I was chowing down on my lunch, <laughs> and you brought me a gift. You brought me dessert. They brought me Tim Tams from Australia. This is nice, and I, I had it, had one, and they're delicious. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Well, I can't say um, I can't say enough how much I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you. Of Stronghold Games. What about my favorite game to eat? Terraforming Mars. Thank you. Yes, obviously, it's it's everyone's favorite. Oh, lots of people's favorite God. games. It's like the number one selling game yep. in the industry. It's it just keeps going and yep. going. We keep printing more than yep. the last print run. Yep. So, yeah, it's doing great. It's a transformative title for us. I have every single expansion oh, for it. Oh, thank you. Uh, it plays well with two players. Plays well with five players. Plays well solo even. Taron, which is behind there the camera, goes. plays solo. It's the cameraman back there. Yes, so I can see that you also have a lot of games yeah, that you'd so like to talk about. We're going to talk today. about the new stuff because yeah. you know always the yeah. cult of the new in this industry. Yeah. So some of the new stuff that either has just come out or is not yeah. even out yet. Yeah. So the follow-up game to Gun Shun yeah. Clever, yeah. or yeah. as we called it, That's Pretty Clever, is yeah. now Doppelt's So Clever, or yeah. Twice as Clever. Yeah. Uh, again by Wolfgang Warsh. Yeah. This guy is so on oh, fire. So hot, yeah. He's <laughs> so hot, and we're so proud. We now yeah. have four of his games in the catalog. We're going to get to a couple more. Yeah. So what? how is it different? You're still going to have that same like active player, passive player. Yeah. The active player is going to be get, getting three die, dies, dice to yeah. put on theirs. Everyone's going to select another die that's on a silver platter. Yeah. But the way the dice interact with your score sheet is completely different on, yeah. on every level. Sometimes with the green die, you must get two in a row, and then yeah. the difference between the two is your score. And you can score yeah. negative points. Yeah. Uh, the silver die is, is, is sort of like a wild die. You're going to mark it in a silver yeah. area anywhere you want. Yeah. But then you're also going to, the ones you put up on the silver value, you're yeah. also going to mark those as well. I played it. It's so juicy. Like, the first time we roll, we roll silver six. And I, oh, do I want to take it? Yeah. Oh. oh. And you get, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. so familiar, yet so uh, different. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I now almost always play this one because I'm still trying to, like, figure out the system because yep. it's so hard to score those big scores that you used to be able to do in you still figured it out i'm pretty good at the original one oh, this one i'm yeah. not good at yet so what's the tips for the original one the tips are i don't know oh, for the, original, the original, one. One, yeah. original one the original one yeah original one is like to me just make sure you get as many bonuses as you can and yep. try to bring up everything almost at the same time because you need to get those fox bonuses especially fox at the end bonuses, yeah. so try to bring up uh, at least everything yep. a little bit or a lot of it yep. and uh, hit the big fox bonus and yep. you should score pretty well in that game yeah. This one, I'll let you know when I figure out how to do well because <laughs> I can't do it. I Go barely on. break 100, yeah. 200 points in this game. I've got the apps as well for that. Boom. Uh, we do have to have to play for Gatchon Clever on our channel. We just released oh, it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Excellent. So, Terrence uh, doing it recently. I think it was like a few weeks ago or some, something like that. Oh, so, yeah. cool. How wow, to play. Thank you for playing it. Yeah. Good. Okay. So the next one, yeah. again by Wolfgang Warsh, yeah. on fire, this guy, oh. is called Bricks. And this one I can call it probably not a lot to say it like in marketing really, but it's like Tetris the roll and write. So in this game, you're going to literally um, be rolling two dice, yep. uh, a four-sided and, and a six-sided die, yep. and you're gonna figure out which piece you're gonna get, and that piece is gonna sort of slide down yep. into a space, and then you mark it on your score sheet. And you're trying to get as many of these rows filled, and then you're gonna score uh, points based on if you get them fully filled, or yep. mostly filled, or a little bit filled. Yep. Uh, double points as you get higher and higher on there. You have a concept of having energy in the game yeah. that you can move the shapes a little bit and pick different shapes. Yeah. So uh, another great roll and write by the genius of Wolfgang Warsh. This game is not even out yet. It comes out uh, in about a week and a half. <laughs> no, next week. Next week. Yep. So about middle, middle of June. Middle of June. Yeah. Yep. The normal local store and local store, and Amazon, wherever you like it, my website, yeah. all that kind yeah. of stuff. I'll Excellent. put a link in the video down below. Oh, well, thank you very much. For sure. And then, not quite a roll and write, but in this case, it's a flip and write. Oh. So in this game, by Uwe Rosenberg, one of the great designers yeah. in the world, noted, noted designer, yeah, yeah, yeah. he did with us three games in a series called his Puzzle Trilogy, and that was yeah. Cottage Garden, uh, Indian Summer, and Spring Meadow. Yeah. And he really loves these, what, what, what are called polyominal pieces, like Tetris-like pieces. Yeah. He loves making games with this mechanic now. 
So he's done it again where these pieces are going to come out on cards. Yeah. And you're going to draw these pieces onto your sheet of paper. Wow. Right, so to draw. You're going to draw awesome. them. So I flip and write. So you're going yeah. to draw them. And you're trying to get the pieces uh, as completely covering all of the spaces Amazing. on your board. And you're going to do it. And I'm yeah. going to do it. We're going to do it. Yeah. And the name Second Chance comes from it. It, it. Toward the end, you may not be able to draw one of those things. You get a second chance, another card just for you. Yeah. And if then, if you can draw that, you can stay in the game. Otherwise, you're out. Yeah. Everyone will drop out within one or two turns of each other. It's a 10 or 15 minute game. Yeah. You can play it with anybody. Uwe Rosenberg's Second Chance, a flip and write game. A flip and write it is. It's just, this game, so the first three games that we're talking about, it's been like rolling right, flip and right. They're just so hot right now. It's an easy game. Yep. Easy filler. You can play any time. You don't have eight hours to play. Yeah, it's a long game. Right. And very, very quick, yeah. simple games. Uh, to score well in some games are, are harder than in others, but this one yeah. is just so simple. You can play this with your grandma. You can play it with your kids. Yeah. Just an easy, approachable game. Uh, and just to mention, we, while we don't have them here, we have two more games in this Roll and Write series. Yeah. Uh, one is called Dizzle, yeah. and the next one is called Encore. It was called Nachtmal in Germany, and yeah. it's actually the largest selling Roll and Write in all of Germany. Uh, and those will be out in August. So that'll Amazing. that'll complete yeah. sort of our first series of these Roll and Write six games in the, in the Roll and Write wow. or flip. You're on fire. Right. We're on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Is that going to be in Gen Con? Yes, those two yeah. games should both make Gen Con. And this I, one's available. That's available right now in yep. stores. This actually yep. came out uh, about a month and a half ago. Right, Second excellent. Chance is available right now. Excellent. That okay, so what cool. else? So we keep talking about Wolfgang Warsh. Wolfgang Warsh, this guy's is amazing. He, is He's he on fire. Game? When he's asleep, or what's I don't know. Going on? And, but <laughs> it's not only how many games he's coming out with, yeah. of course, but it's how different every one of his games yeah, is. Yeah. So this one's called Subtext by Wolfgang Warsh. What about that? And this is a, a drawing game yeah. with a completely different twist on, on drawing. You don't want to draw well yeah. in this game. You want to draw subtly. So you have a you have a clue. This one says, say the clue is Harry Potter. Yep. And I'm the dealer, so I know it's Harry Potter. Yep. I, I take that card plus one card for the other players and that player, mix them up. Now everyone gets a card. Somebody's got Harry Potter. I don't know who it is, but I know that. So I'm going to draw something that reminds people of Harry Potter. Say you have it, yeah. and you'll say, okay, well I'm going to draw something subtle. Yeah. So maybe you drew, maybe I drew glasses, yeah. and you drew yeah. a broomstick. Yeah. And now we're trying to like figure out. Are you on my team? Are you the yeah. one who has it? And yeah. everyone else is going to be drawing their things. Then they're going to figure out, well, who had the one that I drew? So it's a little bit like that Dixit scoring yeah. mechanism yeah. where yeah. You know, you're trying to figure out that other person. He did it in a light drawing game. Yeah. Phenomenal. I, I can't talk highly enough. Plays up to eight players. A little party eight game. Players. A little drawing. Yeah, yeah, four to eight players. Amazing. So one more. <laughs> one more. One more. One more. And that'll be it. Valparaiso. Now this is the bigger game that we yeah. have here uh, yep. for demo. Not available yet. That, by the way, subtext is available Valparaiso, right now yeah. in stores. Valparaiso will be available on June 26th yep. worldwide. This is a uh, a game, a light to midweight euro with yep. absolutely gorgeous artwork by Michael Menzel, who's like the number one artist in the industry. Oh, and in this game, gorgeous. you are you are uh, merchants yep. and traders, and you're trying to establish uh, places uh, in the city of Valparaiso. Yep get resources, trade them out on the seas, and in the, me the main mechanic here is that the cards that you play in front of you are programmed actions. So everybody, I'll turn over this card and I'll take the action, and you'll turn over your first card, take an action. So you're gonna build an engine with these cards. So like if you had to get over here to Valpray, so you have to play that before, you'll be able to play it, and yep. things like that. So it's a programmed action game, light to mid-weight Euro, beautiful artwork, very streamlined, love this game, Valparaiso. It's a little bit of brand, brain branding a little bit. No, yeah, uh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty midway. Pretty yeah, it's yeah. actually very approachable. I would even call it like the light, or on the lighter yeah. midway okay. So yeah, very approachable game, beautiful artwork. Beautiful artwork. I think you'd love it. So that's the, available like sort of the now? brand news, what? Available right now. As available well. on June 26th, June worldwide. 26th, okay. yeah. So that's the newest, uh, some stuff just out, some yeah. stuff not out. Yeah. Um, we're going to be coming out with the more rolling rights, I said, at Gen Con, so you know, people will be able to see that there. Yeah, I'll and, be there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Things are going great at Stronghold. I know. Like, you've got so many games in so little time. You've got these hot designers. Yeah. Um, do you want to share a little bit about yourself? Because where you are right now, like, what did you do right? Well, what I think happened? 
you probably can't see it on the camera. We've got this really cool arch here, and it's showing off that we merged. Uh, so we merged this past year in August of last year, so coming up on the one year anniversary, merged with Indie Boards and Cards. So this was a great idea at a great time for, uh, for us, because you know, as a smaller company, there's certain things you just can't do. You can't hire like specialized roles. I couldn't hire a director of marketing it's yeah. too small of a company so you have to like everyone's got to wear different hats yeah. now yeah. we have a director of marketing yeah. I didn't have a full-time convention manager yeah. now we have a full-time trade show and convention manager so we're able to do these things get more talented people on yeah. board so it was a, a certainly an economic play for yeah. us to both come together yeah. but as well as a talent play yeah we came together because their talents and yeah. the work and the way that they've grown their company and the way that I've grown my company is very synergistic. Yep. They do a lot of Kickstarters. I didn't. Now I can do some Kickstarters. So all together, it's going to be a very, very, very great thing to bring the two companies together. And we couldn't be more happy about the way things are going yep. and going to go and continue into the future. Sounds like you made the right choices. And I hope so. Keep going yes. and then moving forward and more and more game. I just cannot wait. And I can't wait to get my ter uh, terraforming mask, the new one. It's going to be Essen release. Uh, turmoil. We we'll have, yeah. should have some at Essen, yeah. uh, but uh, the Kickstarter will, will be fulfilled around that time and or like in November, uh, and then a worldwide release of Turmoil right after that. Fantastic. Yes, we are Thank excited. You so much. Thank you. Thank it's you so much good to see you guys. Thanks, Thanks for coming all the way from Australia. It's awesome. Thank you for so sparing your time. I really appreciate it. No, no problem. Anytime. Anytime. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, guys. Bye.